Have you been wanting to create your own app for your company's internal teams, but you might not have that much coding knowledge? Well, let me show you how Jotform utilizes Jotform apps for our internal teams and show you how to create your own. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. I'm Kimberly. And before we get into how to create your own no code app for your internal teams, let's take a couple seconds and let me show you how Jotform utilizes Jotform apps for our internal teams. I have three I want to show you. So the first one is going to be how our HR team utilizes apps. So we have performance reviews, we have a link to time off requests, and then we have our employee referral program. All of these are links to forms. Now the next one is how our marketing team utilizes Jotform apps. We have copywriting request form, a video request form, and then we have a Jotform social request form. And the last one is a fun one. It's our basketball team. So we have a new player application form. We have the jersey request form, and then we have the practice attendance form. And as you can see, these are all very simple apps that you can create. So let's go back and let me show you how to create your own from scratch. Now, if you have a form like you saw those others, each of them have multiple forms. If you have a form that you'd like to include in your app, you'll want to find that form. Over on the right hand side, it says more, we'll click there. Then on the left, we have create an app. Now, if you have multiple forms, you can choose multiple forms that up at the very top where it says create a new app, you'll click there. Now, let's say that I wanna see how this works first. I don't wanna choose anything, I just wanna play with it. Up at the very top where it says my forms, we're gonna click here and then my apps. Next, top left, we have the purple create app button. And then from here, we have two choices. We can either start from scratch. So if we have an idea of what we want this to look like, maybe our colors, how this process works, that's a good way to go. But if we have no idea and we wanna get our creative juices flowing, I highly encourage you to check out our template library. We have over 200 templates. There's three ways that we can do this. We can either take a scroll and see if something visually jumps out to us. We can do an actual search at the top or over on the left-hand side, we have all of the categories that you can use to kind of get started. So I think this being with internal teams is really broad and you can go any way creating your app for whatever team you're on. So for this one, I think I wanna do something a little fun and I wanna do something kind of like the basketball team. So in Jotform, we have these really awesome challenges like a reading challenge and a workout challenge. So let's go up to the log apps and let's kind of see what that looks like. So we have a workout log, we have a reading log, something like that. So that way people can log into the app, they can choose what to do and they can log their time for different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose the workout app. Then up here in the top right, we're gonna click on the use template button. Okay, so before we really get into showing you how to make this app, let's look at the elements that this current app is already using. So it looks like we have a header up at the top that says daily exercise tracker. Then it looks like we have these two buttons, but if we click on them, we can see that it's actually a form. And let's look at this one. And this one is a table. Then right down here, we have a video. Then we have this line, it says add a new page. So we can see down here at the bottom, this app has two pages. We have the home page, which is what we were just on, and then we can choose the second page, which is the workout program. So if we scroll down, we can see this is the weekly workout program. So it pretty much shows like, hey, this is what you should be doing on this day, which I think is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and walk through how to create this app. So over on the left-hand side, we have add an element. And if you're familiar with Jotform, this is going to feel very familiar. So the first one is going to be to add a form. So if you came in like we did and you didn't choose a form, you'll click a form, you'll choose which form you want them to fill out, and you'll choose add forms, it'll add it in for you. Then we have a heading, we have paragraph, we have a link, we can upload documents if we want to, an image, we can have just a regular button that will take them to different places. Next, we have an image gallery, image slider. We have you know, a video like right over here. We have a map option, social follow, testimonials. We have data elements, and then we have page elements as well. Then up at the top, we also have widgets. So if you wanna add in something extra, maybe like WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram, you can do that as well. 
But let's go back to basic and let me show you how this works. So let's say I want to add in a button. So if we click on button, it's going to add it in directly under where we were just touching. So let's say that we were just on that track a log workout. If I click on button, it's going to add it right underneath. But let's say another way that you can do this is you can click and drag in. So you have complete control over where that button goes. So let's say I want this button at the very top. Now, if I click on the settings option, we can see how diverse the button option is. So we can take them to a URL. We can have them send us an email. We can have it call us. We can open a form. We can even navigate to a page, which is down here at the bottom. So if we want them to go straight to the workout program, we can add that button in here. So let's go ahead and do that. And if we choose navigate to page, it's going to ask us which page do we want it to go to. We'll choose the workout program and perfect. Now let's say that we want to make this more our own to fit our you know, company's branding or style. If we come to the top right and we click on the app designer, the little blue paint roller, we can do just that. We can either choose a total color scheme. We can choose background colors. We can even remove this workout image and maybe add in maybe of our office gym or something that is more branded to us. And we can even change the font family if we want to. Now, another thing that is really neat is up at the top under app layouts, we can change everything at a click of a button. So if we have multiple things, so we have workout, log workout, and track logged workout, we can see that they're kind of like in a little pyramid. If we wanted them all in the center, all I would have to do is click on center aligned and all of them will come in the center for me. So I don't have to go through each one individually, which is pretty cool. So let's go up to the top under settings and let's see what that looks like. So your app status is automatically going to be enabled if you want to disable it or disable it on a date. That's where you'll do this here. We have continue forms later automatically turned on. And we also have add to home screen modal, which we'll see in just a minute, which is pretty awesome. It's going to ask them, hey, do you want to add this app to your home screen? And then we offer a progress bar as well. Back on the left, we have the app name and icon. So if you want to change the name of the app, we can do that here. If you want to change the icon, we can as well. Right here, it looks like it is an image that was uploaded. So if you have something branded to your company, you can upload that there. If not, we have a ton of icons to choose from. Back on the left, the splash screen. If you want to edit the color of this or the color of the font, we can do that. But let's go up to the publish button and let's see how we can get this app distributed. So first and foremost, we can either copy the link and send it out one on one. If we have someone specific that we want to send it to, we can invite by email. If we are in person, we can use a download QR code. So that way our users can scan the QR code to open the app. But let's open in a new tab and let's see what this looks like on the desktop. All right, here we go. And you can see that pop up asking, hey, do you want to add our app to the home screen? Now you can see it looks a little different than when we were in the builder. So if I try to scroll to get to that workout, I can't. It's on a different pace. So we're currently on the home page. So we have that workout program. We have the log workout, track log workout, and then we have the video. Then up in the top right, we have the workout program. If you're on mobile, it's going to be in the top left. We click on workout program. It's going to take us to that different page so we can see what that workout program looks like. So let's go back to home page because we did add this button right here, we can click here also, which will take us to that workout page. So it's super simple. If you have any questions about creating your own JotForm app for your internal teams, please let us know and I'll see you next time.